Garage. I'm Robert, and this is Haslip Psycho Works. Today on Project Mini Bike, we're going to be addressing two um, accessories or issues. Uh, it depends on how you want to look at it. Um, if you've noticed on our Instagram page, uh, there's a post where I've got the headlight kind of rigged up and I'm driving at night. Works amazing. Um, it's just kind of twisted together, nothing's soldered, don't have the correct connectors or anything like that. So we're going to take care of that today. And another thing that I would like to do is, it's nice to illuminate the road ahead of you, but for the people that may be coming up behind me when I'm rolling around at night, and in my neck of the woods, there's not that many street lights. So I want to add a taillight to it. Um, so the first piece I'm going to show you today uh, has two purposes. One, the brake performance on Project Mini Bike is not up to task compared to the acceleration and top speed performance. So we need to be able to slow down. Um, I've adjusted the mechanical brake as much as I can. Uh, it just doesn't grab enough. Um, not enough meat there, not enough stopping power. I also purchased this one piece because it also gives us a switch to run our brake light on. It is a hydraulic closed system for the rear brake. Um, this particular one is from OMB Warehouse and I'll put a link down in the description. Um, it comes pre-filled um, should be a bolt-on for our doodle bug. Uh, it comes with the brake lever, the master cylinder, the caliper, the line, the pads are already installed, and it should take the hardware that's already on Project Mini Bike in, fingers crossed. Um, we unbolt the mechanical caliper and bolt on our new system. And on the handlebar side, we simply unbolt the lever remove the cable and bolt this bad boy on. Now the reason I went with this particular one is if you can see it's got the terminals for a switch. So when we turn on the headlight on Project Mini Bike, not only will we have the ability to illuminate a light in the rear that will just stay on as long as the headlight's on, we'll also have a brighter mode on that brake light when we pull the brake lever to let everyone know we're stopping. So those are the two things we're going to be addressing on Project Mini Bike: brake performance and lighting. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs>
an hour or so of wiring, soldering, heat shrinking, crimping ends, wire management and cleanup. You can see we've got our wires going to our brake switch. And our light on and off switch. They run down inside some nice loom. Everything's heat shrink and taped to our LED headlight. Then runs back along the frame and zip tied down to our brake light. And it follows the same path as our hydraulic brake line. Got a cool little plexiglass plate that I made using a uh, full-size motorcycle plate as a template. Just drilled it out and cut it with a jigsaw. Um, just plexiglass, uh, maybe quarter inch thick. No extra wires hanging off anywhere. You can see the two fat wires are positive and negative for our lipo battery pack and there's the charging jack for it so let's see if she works headlight works running light works illuminates our plate and let's see if the brake light works. Awesome. A success added to our safety and now we can ride at night and see where we're going so not bad uh, price point was really low work was pretty easy um, wiring was basic I, I didn't film any of that because well I hate wiring and I'm sure most of you do so I don't want to waste your time with watching me crimp and then realize I got the wrong one and cut it and splice it and all that. yeah so wasn't too bad um, pretty simple. A couple switches, a couple lights, and a battery. Uh, nothing major. Maybe something you can put on your ride. But until next time, guys, get up, get out there, and do it.